Judge cancels the Keystone XL pipeline permit. It's been canceled, y'all. Awesome. A district judge in Montana reportedly ruled Wednesday against the Keystone XL pipeline, canceling a key permit necessary for the project's construction. According to the AP, Judge Brian Morris ruled in favor of the environmental groups who argued that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers planned to construct the pipeline over rivers and not properly take endangered species into consideration. I don't know what all endangered species they're referring to, but I have a feeling humanity is among those endangered species. The setback for TC Energy, the pipeline sponsor, comes just days after construction on the pipeline began near the U.S.-Canada border, the AP noted. Environmental groups celebrated Wednesday's court victory with the main group behind the lawsuit calling it a significant hurdle the pipeline would face. Um, all right, so it creates another significant hurdle for the project. Anthony Swift of the National Resources Defense Council told the AP, regardless of whether they have the cross-border segment, Keystone XL has basically lost all of its Clean Water Act permits for water crossings. Other lawsuits are set to go to court Thursday against the pipeline, according to the news service, including efforts by Native American tribes to halt the pipeline project which they argue poses significant environmental risk to reservations. Protest against the project came to a head in 2016, 2017 when demonstrators gathered at Standing Rock. So basically they went to court saying that they need to be more involved in the process. That's what's the, that's what the Sioux tribe did. They went to court saying they need to be more involved in the process. And uh, the judge heard that out. We covered that on the show. When that happened, the judge heard that out. They're like, yes, they need to be more involved in the process. And we're going to kind of put a hold on things. Uh, until the process is more inclusive was basically what they ruled. Well, now they're canceling the permit altogether. So that was a victory that happened for the Standing Rock Sioux tribe. Uh, that was a big victory. And now this is an even bigger one because they just canceled the permit altogether. First, it was like, yeah, you're not including the natives in this and you need to do that. This is their land. It's not right. We're going to halt things until you do proper research, until you do proper investigations, until you include them at the table. Uh, you know, to make sure this is done, quote unquote, safely, because guess what? It can't be done safely. This pipeline, uh, which is already leaked at various times, goes across aquifers that account for about 20 percent of the nation's water supply. And whenever we do this stuff, none of the proper scientific homework is done. They found that out about fracking. None of the homework was done first. Drill first, ask never. That's that's the policy of the oil and gas companies. Drill first. Ask never because they don't care because they just care about the bottom line. They don't care about the environment. They don't care about wreaking havoc on the environment. That's just the cost of doing business to them. And if you don't have access to clean water, they don't care. They don't care. Doesn't affect their bottom line. And by the way, that energy, the quote energy is not even staying domestic. It's being shipped all over the country. So every fracking project, every or all over the world, excuse me, not all over the country, misspeak. So every fracking project, every pipeline project, every drilling project, whenever someone tells you, oh, well, well, it, it, we need it for our energy, we don't. First of all, it, it's, it's just beating a corpse to death in regards to our dependency on fossil fuels. It's time to completely get off of fossil fuels. We need to get off of them or we're not going to be on this planet much longer. We got nine years to drastically, re uh, to drastically change the way we do business to drastically change our energy policies or else we're going to hit a point in overturn and humanity's days are numbered. We got, we got nine years to turn it around. So we need to get off fossil fuels completely. All the incentives should be going towards green energy to, towards, to be making sure that everyone can have an electric car to extensive rail to getting less cars on the road, to getting fossil fuel powered cars out of this, out of the equation completely. Not for drilling more. That's not quote solving our energy needs at all. So this is, this is good. This is a huge victory. Um, the energy companies are going to strike back. They're definitely going to strike back, but for now we got a victory today. For now, the judge has canceled, uh, the judge. I have anointed them judge. The judge, but they're really just judge. Judge just canceled the Keystone XL pipeline permit. So definitely a victory, but it ain't over. It ain't over. The energy companies are going to strike back. Not trying to be a Debbie Downer about it, but the energy companies are going to strike back.
So, uh, but for now, definitely got a victory and uh, stand in solidarity with the Sioux tribe, with Standing Rock, with the Dapple protesters. Got a victory today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your